We are backstage at Electric Picnic in our lovely green room with the gorgeous red colour at Lisa Hannigan. Thank you. It's very green in here. It's yeah. quite it's quite Christmas like actually our, our colour combination. Not very fresh and lush, but it looks lush. Oh. I'd say it was looking a little lusher yesterday. Yeah, and by the sounds of things, latitude was more than lush. Just torrential rain, was it? Oh, it was. Well, certainly for our gig it was. It seemed to be all right for the rest of the weekend. Uh, it was. It was the, bit, the most heavy rain I've ever seen. And it does, does it scare you when you're on stage? Because it was new to me, all the sort of the fears around electricity when you're, when you're playing live. We don't think about that when we're enjoying your sets. I didn't think about that at the time. I did notice my, my harmonium getting a little kind of uh, damp looking, which worried me slightly because it's, uh, it's quite temperamental at the best of times. Um, what can you do for it? Do you oil it or do you just, no. do you have to check it, check it out every so often? I mean, it's, it's reasonably hardy. It just kind of decides to be really difficult, uh, you know, at the worst possible times. But it's more when it rains really badly when you're playing an outdoor gig, you think, you know, you're there playing and all these people are suddenly going, oh, and uh, you, you imagine everyone will probably quite rightly run to the nearest tent. Uh, oh. Suddenly the 40,000 people that were in front of you are now five oh. diehards in their ponchos. Off like a prom dress, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the worst, because you'd start off going, this is amazing, and then, oh no. So fingers crossed, it's a sunny. Yeah, well, it's meant to be good today, and you're on the main stage, so you don't have cover, but I'll, I'll be out there with my poncho, I promise. Oh, good. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Your poncho and your pie, no doubt. Yeah, and I've got the wellies, so I'm, I'm determined to make them muddy by the end of the day. Yeah, you need to you need to muddy them up. Look at mine. I'm embarrassing myself. Every, oh. Everybody's making fun of me. They're too clean. Yeah, you need you need to muddy them up. But, you know, in, in your I own time. I need so that I'm covered. In your own time, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I have to ask you about something um, that, I've, that I've noticed every single time that you perform is that you have a, a traveling lit mushroom that is kind of attached to your stand for your harmonium. Yeah. How does it stay put? Because a harmonium really shakes the table. So do you have Velcro or what do you do? It has never fallen off. There was one time it sort of, I don't Velcro, no, it's just sitting there. Um, it shakes. It's never fallen off. It, there's one time it sort of went to the, and I just sort of quickly caught it quite, quite expertly, unexpectedly, because I'm really uncoordinated. But I, yeah, I'm, I hope it hasn't. I'm glad it hasn't so far because I would definitely be put off. I'm used to having it there. I'd have to kind of go stop. <laughs> the like, magic mushroom is in danger. Yeah, I'd have to write the whole thing, you know, before, before I could continue. So fingers crossed. I have to ask you because it's just so unbelievably exciting. And I have to say congratulations, first of all, for the Mercury Prize shortlist. It's, it's insane. It's so brilliant. Thank you. It is totally insane and brilliant. I'm really looking forward to it. It's only a couple of days now. Is it the 11th? Um, it's Tuesday, so I don't know what that is. The 9th, oh. maybe. Okay, and then the telecast live. And everybody's going to be there, the full list, is that I right? so, yeah. Uh, everyone's going to be there, so I'm really excited to be able to play for Brat for Lashes and people like that. You know, it's going to be it's great. She's not here today. Yeah, it's really upsetting. That's the only sort of um, downside to the, to the weekend. Uh, that she's the only one that I think hasn't she shown or hasn't been able to come. It's a shame. I saw her here last year, I think. She was amazing. I think I think it was last year, and she's brilliant. So I don't know. Maybe she's at home practicing. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Going. I've got to blow that Lisa Hannigan out of the water. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Did you notice a distinct change? Because the things things have been building sort of so sort of steadily for you since the moment CISO came out, and the the press that you had in the states has been fantastic. The tours you did with Jason Mraz. But with the Mercury's, did you notice a change in perception, particularly in the UK? In the UK, definitely, because I was definitely one of the people in the list that nobody would ever heard of. So it was great. It was really, that's that's who you want to be in the list, you know. Uh, and so stuff like getting your song on, a ra on the radio or even getting the record in the shops, you know, in the UK. Because we don't have a record company, so it's just yeah. myself and my management and um, set up a record company. And so it's been hard to kind of get just that that sort of stuff done and now at least you know there's a sticker on it <laughs> so you can say check out the sticker come on get on board <laughs> five star rating well you, i mean well, before the mercury um shortlist had been announced you'd already played jules holland and, and done all those high profile programs yeah we'd, we'd, we'd done jules and that was and that was great um but it was still hard to just get the record in the shops and stuff you know and on the radio so Fingers crossed now. <laughs> and, I mean, after that, I mean, I presume there's a bit of nerves around it, or are you just like, oh, listen, it's just another gig? Uh, totally a bit of nerves around it, definitely. Because, I mean, any telly thing, there's so much preparation and um, rehearsal and camera rehearsal and sound rehearsals and dress rehearsals and all this, and then, and then it's just three minutes. And you have to cut your song as well and chop it up into bits. So it's, 
you know, you really have to have your wits about you for it. So it's very much filmed as live live, or is it edited, do you think? I think they, I think they film the songs, and then, uh, and then everyone has their dinner while the people go off and discuss, and then they start showing the songs on the telly. So it looks live uh, on the telly, okay. but hopefully if, you know, you fall over or your, my dress bursts open or something, I'll be able to... <laughs> you have a wardrobe malfunction. Yes. My mother, I bought my dress the other day and I got it from Harlequin, so it's like full of like little holes and bits of bobs, so you get with minch things. And my mother's been furiously mending it over the last few days and pressing it and stuff. So I hope it'll be okay. I won't have any more wardrobe malfunctions. The same lovely mother that helped you with the stitching of the album itself. She's very stitchy. She's good at all that stuff. Cause you said the, you did all the stitching and needlework, but did you do the knitting as well? No. That's okay. She that's did the knitting, that's what, yeah. Okay. I can't knit at all. And knitting's an art. I was very patient or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't have the you skills. Can't. I can't no. do it either. And she's t- tried to teach me loads of times. And I, there's no reason why we can't, mm-hmm. obviously. But I just, it's one of those things I've always shied away from. I'd rather kind of do the stitching, I think. And what about the videos? Because they're, they're so creative and all the, the paper cutouts and the book that was made. Did you say that your brother, was your brother that helped you with one of those? Yeah, my brother and his friend Maeve Clancy. Uh, did the videos and they're just I mean it's just another way that you can have fun you know have fun making stuff you know so they they're very creative and they've actually made this amazing backdrop for later um, it's a huge big uh, backdrop well this is going to go out after so I can give it away um, but it's um, a beautiful electric picnic scene with like the ferris wheel and the tents and the flags and all this stuff Be- the same girl that drew the um, the pop up book so same kind of animation oh, cool. um, and there's a few mushrooms in there and uh, they're going to sort of reveal it throughout the throughout the gig. So it should be nice. Second song. <laughs> okay, well that's brilliant. Well, listen, congratulations again on the Mercury. We'll all be uh, watching, and Thank fingers you. crossed because it'd be nice to get an Irish winner. There never has been, has there? No, no. I mean, I'm just like I don't know what I would do if we won. I'd spontaneously combust. But I, I'm just <laughs> so brilliant to be nominated and to play. You know, to be able to play on telly and stuff for people and. That's going to be great. Uh, it's so deserved, though. Onwards and upwards. Thank you. Well, hopefully the dress holds together. <laughs> <laughs> no Lisa mind. Hannigan, you're a legend. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. And then it's just three minutes. And you have to cut your song as well and chop it up into bits. So, it, you know, you really have to have your wits about you for it. So it's very much filmed as live live, or is it edited, do you think? I think they, I think they film the songs, and then, uh, and then everyone has their dinner while the people go off and discuss and then they start showing the songs on the telly so it looks live uh, on the telly okay. but hopefully if you know you fall over or your, my dress bursts open or something i'll be able to you have a wardrobe malfunction yes God. <laughs> my mother i bought my dress the other day and i got it from harlequin so it's like full of like little holes and bits of bobs so you get with minch things and my mother's been furiously mending it over the last few days and pressing it and stuff so I hope it'll be okay. I won't have any more wardrobe malfunctions. The same lovely mother that helped you with the stitching of the album itself. She's very stitchy. She's good at all that stuff. Cause you said the, you did all the stitching and needlework, but did you do the knitting as well? No. That's okay. She that's did the knitting. That's what. Yeah. Okay. I can't knit at all. And knitting's an art. I was very patient or something. I don't. I don't know. I don't have the you skills. Can't. I can't no. do it either. And she's t- no. tried to teach me loads of times and. I, there's no reason why we can't, mm-hmm. obviously, but I just, it's one of those things I've always shied away from. That you had in the States has been fantastic, the tours that you did with Jason Mraz, but with the Mercury's, did you notice a change in perception, particularly in the UK? In the UK, definitely, because I was definitely one of the people in the list that nobody would ever heard of, so it was great, it was really, that's, that's who you want to be in the list, you know, uh, and so stuff like getting your song on, a ra- on the radio or even getting the record in the shops, you know, in the UK, we don't have a rec company, so it's yeah. just myself and my management and um, set up a rec company. And so it's been hard to kind of get just that, that sort of stuff done. And now at least, you know, there's a sticker on it. <laughs> so you can say, check out the sticker. Come on, get on board. <laughs> Five star rating. Well, you, I mean, well, before the Mercury um, shortlist had been announced, you'd already played Jules Holland and, and done all those high profile programs. Yeah, we'd, we'd, we'd done Jules and that was and that was great. Um, but it was still hard to just get the record in the shops and stuff, you know. and on the radio so fingers crossed now <laughs> and I mean after that I mean I presume there's a bit of nerves around it or are you just like oh, listen it's just another gig uh, totally a bit of nerves around it definitely because I mean any telly thing there's so much preparation and um, rehearsal and camera rehearsal and sound rehearsals and 
dress rehearsals and all this, and then now five off. diehards in their ponchos. Off like a prom dress, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the worst because you'd start off going, "This is amazing," and then going, "Oh no!" So fingers crossed, it's a sunny. Yeah, well, it's meant to be good today, and you're on the main stage, so you don't have cover, but I'll, I'll be out there with my poncho, I promise. Oh, good. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Your poncho and your pie, no doubt. Yeah, and I've got the wellies, so I've, I'm determined to make them muddy by the end of the day. Yeah, you need to you need to muddy them up. Look at mine. I'm embarrassing myself. Every, oh. Everybody's making fun of me. They're too clean. Yeah, you need you need to muddy them up. But, you know, in, in your I own time. I need black ones so that I'm covered. In your own time, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I have to ask you about something um, that, I've, that I've noticed every single time that you perform is that you have a, a traveling lit mushroom that is kind of attached to your stand for your harmonium. Yeah. How does it stay put? Because a harmonium really shakes the table. So do you have Velcro or what do you do? It has never fallen off. There was one time it sort of, I don't Velcro, no, it's just sitting there. Um, it shakes. It's never fallen off. It, there's one time it sort of went and I just sort of quickly caught it quite, quite expertly, unexpectedly, because I'm really uncoordinated. But I, yeah, I'm, I hope it hasn't. I'm glad it hasn't so far because I would definitely be put off. I'm used to having it there. I'd have. We are backstage at Electric Picnic in our lovely green room with the gorgeous red colored Lisa Hannigan. Thank you. It's very green in here. It's yeah. quite. It's quite Christmas like actually. Our, our color combination. Not very fresh and lush, but it looks lush. Oh. I'd say it was looking a little lusher yesterday. Yeah, and by the sounds of things, latitude was more than lush. Just torrential rain, was God, it? It was. Well, certainly for our gig, it was. It seemed to be all right for the rest of the weekend. Uh, it was. It was the, bit, the most heavy rain I've ever seen. And it does, does it scare you when you're on stage? Because it was new to me, all the sort of the fears around electricity when you're, when you're playing live. We don't think about that when we're enjoying your sets. I didn't think about that at the time. I did notice my, my harmonium getting a little kind of uh, damp looking, which worried me slightly because it's, uh, it's quite temperamental at the best of times. Um, what can you do for it? Do you oil it, or do you just no. do you have to check it check it out every so often? I mean, it's it's reasonably hardy. It just kind of decides to be really difficult, uh, you know, at the worst possible times. But it's more when it rains really badly when you're playing an outdoor gig. You think, you know, you're there playing, and all these people are suddenly going oh, and uh, you, you imagine everyone will probably quite rightly run to the nearest tent. Uh, Suddenly, the forty thousand people that were in front of you are now to kind of go stop. <laughs> the magic mushroom is in danger. Yeah, I'd have to write the whole thing, you know, before, before I could continue, so fingers crossed. I have to ask you because it's just so unbelievably exciting, and I have to say congratulations, first of all, for the Mercury Prize shortlist. It's, it's insane. It's so brilliant. Thank you. It is totally insane and brilliant. I'm really looking forward to it. It's only a couple of days now. Is it the 11th? Um, it's yes. Tuesday, so I don't know what that is. The 9th, oh. maybe. Okay, and then the telecast live, and everybody's going to be there, the full list, is that I right? so, yeah, uh, everyone's going to be there, so I'm really excited to be able to play for Bat for Lashes and people like that, you know, it's going to be it's great. She's not here today. Yeah, it's really upsetting, that's the only sort of um, downside to the, to the weekend, that she's the only one that I think hasn't she shown or hasn't been able to come. It's a shame, I saw her here last year, I think, she was amazing, I think, I think it was last year, and she's brilliant, so... I don't know, maybe she's at home practicing. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Going, I've got to blow that Lisa Hannigan out of the waters. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Did you notice a distinct change? Because the things, things have been building sort of so sort of steadily for you since the moment CISO came out and the, the press.